hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a footer design for website using html and css this is the web design that we are going to create in this video in this footer we have divided it in three columns in the first column i have added the useful links and in the second column i have added email subscription form and in the last column you can see the contact information and social media icons we have created this design using html and css only so let's start to create this footer design step by step using html and css here in this folder i have added one html file and one css file let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding font family and box sizing in the html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file now we will add the code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page so in this body let's create a div with the class name footer and in this footer we have to create three columns so let's create the first column with the class name call one now we will duplicate this div and we will add the class name call2 call3 now in the first one we will add a title in h3 so it is useful links and in this useful links we will add some links so let's add one a tag which is anchor tag so that it will be a clickable link in this one we will add the link text so it is about let me duplicate it and then we will change the link text so we have updated the link text now in the second column we have to add a title so again we will add s3 and in this s3 we will add the title newsletter After this title, we have to add a email subscription form. So we will use the form tag. And within this form tag, we have to add one input box and there will be a button. So first we will add one input field. Input type will be text and here we will add the placeholder. In this placeholder, we will add the text that will be displayed inside the input box. So here we will add your email address. After that, we have to add a button. Button type will be submit and here we have to add the button text. So it is subscribe now. Now we have to add the content in the third column. So in the third column, again, we will add a title. So here we will add s3 and in this s3 we will add the title contact where we will add the contact information so in the next line we will add a p tag which is paragraph tag and here we will add any address here we will add br to change the line after adding all these text let me come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this text useful links. Then we have some links, then this title newsletter and we have the input field and button and one another title contact and some description. Next we have to add the CSS for these content. So just come back here. We will copy this class name footer and for this footer we will add the css so just add this class name in this css file and for this one we have to add some space from the top after that we have to add the width then we will add some space so here we will add padding 100 pixel it is from the top and bottom and left right 15% then we will change the background 
and here we will add the color it will be the text color and display will be flex so all the columns will be side by side let's come back to the web page again and now you can see here we have the useful links in the first column newsletter in the second one and contact in the third one but we need some space also so let's come back and you can see in this footer we have three div this one this one and this one so for all these three div we have to add the same css properties for that here we will add this class name footer and after that we will add div and let's add text align center and in the second column we have to increase the space so you can see we have the class name call to for the second column so here we will add dot call to and just add flex grow to so it will take the space two times let's come back and here you can see we have some space between all these columns after that we have to add the css for these titles so let's come back and you can see we have the title in h3 so here we will add footer div and h3 so for all these s3 we will add font weight so the font weight will be 300 it will be light and uh, margin from the bottom so there will be some space at the bottom of this title and letter spacing one pixel so these title looks good next we will add the css for these links which is in the horizontal line so we have to align it vertically and we have to change the color and remove the underline so just come back and you can see we have these links in the a tag in the first column so here in this css file let's add the class name call one for the first column then we will add a tag and for this a tag we will add display block then we will add text decoration none it will remove the underline then we have to change the color of these links next we will add space at the bottom now these links looks good next we will add the css for this input box and this subscribe button and now we need this subscribe button in the next line so we have to add the line break let's come back in the html file and between this input field and this button we will add one br now you can see this input field in the top and below that input field we have the subscribe button next we will add the css so let's come back and you can see it is in the form tag in this form we have the input and button so in this css file we will add form input now for this input field we need a width it will be 400 pixel and after that height it will be 45 pixel now we need the round corners so we will add border radius 4 pixel and text align will be center after that we will add the space from the top and bottom so we will add margin top and let's add a space at the bottom also outline will be none and border also none now you can see this input field looks good let me come back and here in this html file here we will add input type email so it will only accept the email format and here i will add required so the email will be required to submit this form like this let's come back and if i click on this subscribe now button you can see it is asking please fill out this field because this input field is required 
so this input field is looking good next we have to design this button which is subscribe now so simply come back to the css file and again write this tag form and in this form we have added button so write the button tag now for this button we have to add the transparent background after that border it will be two pixel then color and border radius let's add the padding also 10 pixel from top and bottom and 30 pixel from left and right side after that we will add the font size it will be 15 pixel and then cursor will be pointer now you can see this subscribe now button is also looking good so we have designed the second column also now in the last column you can see this title is good and this text is also looking good next we will add the social media icons in this footer just go to the font awesome website here you have to create your account then click on kits and click here and you will get a script just copy this script and come back to the html file and add it here in this head tag after adding this again come back to the font awesome website and click on icons here i will select the version fifth here we can search for the icon that we want to display on our website so let me search for facebook click on the icon and you will get this one line of code just click here to copy this one and come back to the html file and add it here like this let me add a div here with the class name social icons and within this div we will place this icon After adding this, let me duplicate it and change the icons. This is for the Twitter. Next one is for the Instagram. And this one for Behance. After adding this, again refresh the website. And now you can see these icons in the last column, which is for the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Behance. So next we will add the CSS for this icon. So let's come back and copy this class name social icons. And for this one we will add some space from the top. So we will add margin top 30 pixel. And again write this class name and here we will add i because we have all the icons in i tag. Let's increase the font size so it will increase the size of the icons. Then we will add some space, margin 10 pixel and cursor pointer. After adding this, again refresh the website and now you can see the social media icons looks good. So finally we have completed this beautiful footer design using HTML and CSS. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.